Hello friends, welcome to Easy Make Learn channel. In this video lecture, I am going to explain about mathematical modeling of mechanical system. To understand and control complex system, one must obtain quantitative mathematical models of this system. To analyze the relationship between the system variables, because the system under consideration are dynamic in nature, the descriptive equations are usually differential equation obtained by utilizing the physical laws of the process. The Laplace transform can be used to obtain a solution describing the operation of the system. Mechanical systems are categorized into two groups on the basis of types of motion. First is translational mechanical system and second is rotational mechanical system. The basic forms of mechanical system building blocks are spring, temper or dashpot and masses. Spring represent stiffness of mechanical system. Damper or dashpot represent forces opposing the motion. Masses represent inertia or resistance to acceleration. Newton's second law of motion can be applied to any mechanical system for modeling. Let us start with mathematical modeling for spring. This is the spring which is fixed or connected at one end. X is the displacement of spring. F is the force acting on the spring. K is the stiffness of spring. The first step is a draw free body diagram for the spring. This block represents the spring or free body diagram of the spring. Output is displacement that is x. Input is the force that is f. As we know f is equal to kx. K is the stiffness of the spring, X is the displacement, F is the force. Take Laplace transform of this equation. F of S is equal to K is a constant, X of S. Transfer function is equal to Laplace of output that is x of s divided by Laplace of input that is force. So the transfer function is x of s upon f of s is equal to 1 upon k. This is the mathematical modeling of spring. This is for the translational motion. Let us try to find out mathematical modeling of spring in rotational motion.
this is the spring which is fixed at one end torque T is applied on the spring theta is the angular displacement K is the stiffness of spring that is torsional stiffness of spring torque is equal to K into this is the torsional stiffness remember that into angular displacement T is equal to K into theta follow same procedure take Laplace transform T of S is equal to K is constant theta of S therefore transfer function is input and theta is the output 1 upon k to avoid the confusion i am putting t as a suffix for a stiffness let us start with mathematical modeling for damper x is a force acting on a damper due to which x is a displacement let us first try to find out mathematical modeling for translational motion first step is a draw three body diagram input is a force that is f Output is a displacement that is x. As we know, force is directly proportional to velocity. So, right here, force is directly proportional to velocity that is v. Therefore, f is equal to b into v b is the damping constant v is the rate of change of displacement that is dx by dt now take laplace transform f of s is equal to is equal to b into s x of s therefore transfer function is equal to x of s divided by f of s is equal to 1 upon b into s this is a mathematical modeling of damper in translational motion Now see for the rotational motion This is the damper T is the torque acting on the damper Theta is the angular displacement Omega is the angular velocity So torque is equal to B into Omega So B into D Theta by Dt now follow same procedure take Laplace transform T of S is equal to B into 
yes of theta of s so transfer function is equal to output is angular displacement that is theta of s divided by torque is the input that is t of s is equal to 1 upon bs this is the transfer function of damper in rotational motion now try to find out the transfer function for a mass having mass is equal to m x is the displacement having acceleration in direction of applying force now apply newton's second law of motion as we know f is equal to mass into acceleration so mass acceleration means dv by dt therefore f is equal to m into as we know v is equal to dx by dt substitute value of v is equal to dx by dt we get d2x by dt2 now again now again follow same procedure take laplace transform f of s is equal to m is a constant m into s square into x of s if you simplify this equation further you get the transfer function so transfer function is equal to x of s upon f of s is equal to 1 upon m s square this is the transfer function in translational motion now try to find out now try to find out mathematical modeling of mass in rotational motion this is the moment of inertia of given body that is j omega is the angular speed t is a torque acting on that body theta is the angular displacement as we know torque applied on any body is equal to moment of inertia into alpha alpha is the angular acceleration j into d omega omega is the angular velocity as i have already told you so d2 theta divided by dt2 into into j is remaining here of s is equal to j into s square theta of s now transfer function is equal to output is theta input is t 1 upon j into s square this is the transfer function of mass in rotational motion now if you compare the motions in translational and rotational motion how can you differentiate or at the time of solving problem related to the mathematical modeling now let us see translational motion and in other column rotational motion
so first component in mechanical system is mass for translational motion we are considering mass second component is damper or dashpot denoted by b third component is spring we consider k next is the force acting on a body that is f fifth is the displacement that is linear displacement x sixth parameter is velocity that is denoted by v rate of change of displacement dx by dt now for rotational motion we are considering first is the moment of inertia of a given body that is j in translational and rotational motion damper is denoted by b spring is denoted by k just we are supporting the suffix x that is tors torsional stiffness instead of force in rotational motion torque is applied on the body that is t instead of linear displacement we are having angular displacement that is theta the last one is the in rotational motion instead of linear velocity we are considering angular velocity that is omega thank you for watching this video thanks for watching this video if you understand how to do mathematical modeling of mechanical system in case of translational and rotational motion then you can proceed for my next video how to solve problems which having combination of spring mass and damper for translational and rotational